and welcome to another standard daily event. Um, today I'm playing a list of my own creation because um, right now in real life M14 is legal but it's not out on Magic Online for at least I think in a couple more weeks. So unfortunately I don't get to uh, display any new cards that you probably already have in real life. So today I'm playing my own list. It's a bank control list and bank control um, it got a little popular for like a week or two um, last month or maybe it was the beginning of this month. But it hasn't really shown any like dominance or any um, just any kind of uh, numbers or anything at all. But I still think it's gonna be a really good deck. Um, the reason why I wanted to play this just because I wanted to play a deck that had like a supreme verdicts and terminuses, and the best kind of deck for those cards is like I think with far seeks. Um, far seeks just allow you to uh, basically like time walk and able to play supreme verdict just when you need to, and also like a turn four threat test is pretty amazing. So this deck is just in response to like all the, all Magic Online is a lot of uh, red green aggro decks right now, and also like Junk Aristocrats, and this is pretty good against both of them. So for the, here we we'll go through the list. We have four Farseeks, like I said, which really um, help power the deck up. A turn two Farseek is definitely the best play we could possibly have. It's just really insane. Just makes the deck function a whole lot better. Then we have four Azorius Charms for cycling to get rid of a creature. Uh, think twice to draw cards. Um, I'm playing four Voice of Resurgences in the main deck, so just so good against control and aggro. Uh, against aggro, we just want to buy time until we can grind them out with like Wrath Effects and Thrag Tusks and then eventually draw Aetheline and kill them. And then I really love Renounce the Guilds. Um, even though it does kill our Voice of Resurgences and our tokens, it's still really good. kills a lot of problem cards like Obsidat or Sire of Insanity and also kill like a Boros Reckoner. It's not really ever dead. Usually every deck has some kind of targets for it. So I really like that a lot, even though it doesn't synergize with voice too well. So we play a couple counter spells, just two dis dissipates in the main deck. Then like I said, we have three Supreme Verdicts and three Terminuses. I really like Terminus right now, just because it deals with so many problems. Like there's even like, a, it's good against Junk Aristocrats, good against Normal Aristocrats. Um, there's even a Zombie deck that's gotten a little bit popular. So just getting rid of all those things just cleanly and nicely is just so powerful. Then we have four Thrag Tusks, uh, one Aetheline, and then four Sphinx Relations to tie the deck together. And we have like a normal uh, green, white, blue mana base, Temple Gardens, Hollowed Fountains, Breen Pools, Hinterland Harbors, uh, Sun Petal Grove, Glacial Fortresses, a forest, so we can cast Farseek um, easier. Then we have one Cavern of Souls, um, so we can resolve like our Aetheline through Counter Magic. Because once this resolves, it's very hard to kill, you probably, as you all probably know by now. And then one Alchemist Refuge, which allows us to be able to like Supreme Verdicts on their turn, to kill Haste Creatures or kill Obsidat, or to sneak in a Thrag Tusk, and that's just very powerful. I really like this card a lot. Um, if it was possible, I'd like to play two in the main deck, but I just don't want to... I just really want all my colored mana sources, because some like there's a like, green-white on turn two, green, oh, white-blue, double-blue, double-white, double-white, double-blue-white, lots of blue for Aetheline, so it's just uh, not realistic to have that many colorless lands in your deck. So for sideboard, um, like my deck's already pretty good against aggro decks, but I have four centaur healers just to take out like the dissipates and the thing twice is just to seal up those matchups so I can't be like burned out against the red green aggro decks. Uh, we also have like a renounce the gills that come against like junk aristocrats and can come against aggro if they have a lot of multicolored creatures. Then we have rest in pieces for like junk reanimator. Uh, a lot of people aren't playing rest in peace, so people are getting away with things they shouldn't have, I think. But I just really want like rest in peace usually comes in where voice comes out. So I can just uh, make Junk Reanimator fight fair, and then I can usually actually finish them off with the Jace uh, Memory Adept. Because when they're not gaining value, sometimes it's hard for them to kill a Planeswalker if I have like a couple Wraths. And so we have two Jaces for like that matchup and also Control, then a clone that's good against Junk and Jund. And then uh, Cavern, Negate, and another Aetheline for Control. Alright, so that's the list, and we'll see how we do. I'm really excited. I really like this list. It's really fun to play. Um, it's a little less uh, nerve-wracking than blue, white, red. <laughs> That's actually you have to play very tightly, and it's a very skill-intensive deck. And like without that many hard win conditions, sometimes it's hard to win with. But this deck, it can be like a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit more relaxing to play because you just go far seek, think twice, supreme verdict, thrag tusk, and then like you're stabilized. And you don't have to play as. You still don't always want to play tightly, but like you don't like a mistake may not cost you the game just because you have so many like forgiving cards like thrag tusk, Sphinx revelations. You're playing four instead of three all these wrath effects and voice resurgence buys us so much time so I think this deck is just more powerful than blue white red and we'll see if I'm right in that assumption we'll see you at the start of round one